Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. Black heart sign and black in again asking you to hit that share button to benefit us. Um, to those who hit the like and the subscribe buttons, thank you so much. Um, to those who hit the share buttons, thank you for more because you've shared the message. And the message is more important than the messenger. This one, I'm uh, try to make real quick. Sister Mason decided to put up a post talking about some, uh, I ain't going to issue an apology. And I'm going to say this to be fair. Number one, what I said, Sister Mason, in my last video, about my, my theory that you were looking to switch your platforms, I admit is a theory. I admit that. If I am proven wrong later, and I remember, I will certainly be glad to say, well, you know, my theory, uh, my theory um, was not proven correct, or it was, in fact, proven wrong. I don't mind saying it. And right now, based on your last statement, that actually does not prove my theory correct. And that's why I call it just a theory. Now, on the flip side, it's a theory, and I said it's a theory, but in your case, you have doubled down when you gave a version that your cousin gave you on a video and then the videotape came out and went against your cousin's version unless that was not your cousin in the videotape. Now, if she has told you this is the evidence that they're withholding and this is the evidence that will corroborate what I said and prove my case, in that case, come out with whatever evidence that the state is withholding. At least do that. Because instead of saying I'm going to double down on this and I'm not apologizing to brothers for nothing, well then God damn it, Ms. Mason, if you ain't going to do that, then come out with the evidence that shows that she's telling the truth and the police is lying. And I said it like that for a reason, proof. Because I used to live in Atlanta for 19 years and I learned all that. And as far as I thought, I thought e police were mostly black. And I said it like that intentionally, e right next to Kyle Park. I thought they were mostly black themselves. So they wouldn't have an interest in just letting black men run up and grab black women. They lose the jobs that they're shown to just not give a rat's behind about it. If your sister, I mean, if your cousin was legitimately scared, but these things didn't happen and she comes out and says it, they come out and say, look, they ain't follow her out the store. That part was wrong. A car did follow her. She got scared. She got spooked. But anyway, I don't want to take too long for this. Ms. Mason, what I do want to say is uh, I don't hate you, but I got you know, I got to stand on the side of truth. That's the real. I'm not taking the, that white woman author's word for it, uh, which she said in Daughters of the Trade, and I'm not assuming she's lying either. It could go either way. I don't have access to get a copy of the book where I live, but I understand that that is major literature um, for men who say that they can't expect this loyalty and solidarity with black women even when the black men are right. When they say that, they cite the book Daughters of the Trade. I don't know what sources the author used to get this information, but she's a white woman and I don't take their word for nothing either. That's the truth of the matter. So I'm not saying that she's right or wrong. I'm saying I really don't know. So I don't have any proof. I have not seen any proof that black women habitually betray black men as a whole. I have seen individual cases. I have seen where the masses get deceived into certain things that are to the disfavor of black men, but habitually, intentionally betraying black men is not a pattern that I have uh, uh that I have seen proven. So I don't sit up and say this. Because I don't want to be unfair and lie. I've been falsely accused of stuff. I've been expected to uh, betray black people because of my phenotype. And I was not about to do that. Anyway. Moving on, Sister Mason. Um, I said in the last clip. My, my last video. That if daughters of the trade turns out to be true and if what I read about insurance babies being behind a lot of lynchings turns out to be true then these would prove that black women in America have a history of betraying black men if they don't turn out to be true then there will be no basis this is the truth of the matter 
I understand that this whole conflict between black men and black women was engineered by somebody else on the outside. Neither one of us really started this and they're benefiting from it because they don't want black folks in an undiluted uh, form. I don't know why, but they don't. Well, actually, I do know why, but that has to do with religion, actually, and some, some real deep spiritual stuff that a lot of people don't even believe exist anyway. And one of the best lines I ever heard in the movie, which was which in the movie was attributed to a historical quote, was that the biggest trick the devil ever pulled on people was making us think that he didn't exist. And that would explain a lot, but that's a different recording. <laughs> anyway, that being said, I'm not walking around with the assumption that black women hate us. I've, I've been told that, but I'm not walking around with that assumption. Now, black women angry with men and do black women resent black men because they feel or they think that black men are the most broken and dysfunctional? Yes, I know that's the case. And I know that black men are not the most dysfunctional in any country. I know that where you find poverty, you find the same things that we are going through. And you find that when people are poor, sometimes even when they're not poor and they didn't go through what we went through. We only got this way after being colonized back home if you were lucky enough to escape being kidnapped or not being lucky enough to escape being kidnapped and then being drugged across the ocean. It took one of those for black folk to be as dysfunctional as we are. That's what I know. Anyway, that being said, also let me go on and move uh, to, the next, uh, to the next thing right quick. I agree with you, Sister Mason, uh, about black women needing to look into other black men that are not American. Finally, we agree on something. I've been saying black women need to look into men from the continent and from the Caribbean and not only the rich ones. That's not fair. I would love to see how that goes. Now, Edward Anderson has said that he wants every black woman that wants a white man to get a white man and finally learn. I because I don't want bad things to happen to black women in mass, unless of course they can be proven to have betrayed us willingly again and again, uh, would say quite the opposite. I want black women to start giving other men of color a shot. And that includes other black men that are not American. And I'm talking about not only the ones with European passports, I'm talking about the ones with African passports and not a whole lot of money to go along with it. Because those represent most black men. And since sisters are saying that brothers need to develop an interest in the average black woman as if we don't give them a shot anyway, I say sisters need to, to, to give the average black man of, of all nationalities a shot. And that means you ain't going to have a whole lot of money. Because the world right now is built on one thing, impoverishing black people impoverishing the African continent and impoverishing this diasporan communities abroad. That's it. Brazil's built on that. America's built on that. Just as examples. You're going to face this. Because then they would understand that white supremacy is global and the problem is them damn crackers. They are the first and the last problem because when when we get our stuff together, they're going to interfere from the outside. And if they fail in that, they're going to resort to violence. They've done it before and they'll do it again. They did it in Brazil. They conquered the Palenques. Uh, they, they conquered uh, the, the Quilombos by force. They did it in the United States 19 times in their own history. They will resort to violence to stop black progress. And you will find this out. Yes, get with some African brothers. Ask them what it's going to take for black America and for their countries to unite or rather to progress and go forward. And you will see the same common enemy like I've been saying. I don't hate you, Ms. Mason. I am upset. I distrust you. But I myself don't hate you. There are other brothers that hate you. There are brothers that love you. You know that there's a whole spectrum of opinions about you just amongst black men. And that's a hell of a lot more than I can say when it comes to black men. Because the, the opinions don't necessarily run the spectrum when it comes to a black man. <laughs> when it comes to a black man, sisters generally are unanimous. If there is a difference of opinion about a particular brother in our community, you can also check 
the way the women look and you'll see a correlation between how they look and their opinions of any particular given black man. And it usually follows one curve. If they're attractive enough to get two guys to pay attention to them, their opinion of any particular black man is pretty low. I mean, it runs a pattern. It's very predictable. <laughs> I've dealt with that. Other black men have dealt with that. That's real. I wish that what I, I wish I had better news, but I don't. Anyway, that being said, um, I think I've gone on long enough. I want to thank the audience for being patient. Um, as far as the men who put their names and faces out there, that's fine. I'm not doing that because I'm not going to compromise the privacy of my family. That, that's not happening. <laughs> Forget about mine. And, and actually, I'm not going to compromise mine either because I got some cyber vigilantes that were looking for, um, they were looking for me. And I was able to convince them that I was dead. They, some of them were ex-soldiers or current soldiers serving at that time, and they were looking to kill me. One of them said this, he actually said this to me. <laughs> so no, I'm not doing that. But by the same token, I'm not here to just sit up and start talking trash and just insulting people unintelligently either. And when something, when the evidence goes a certain way by way of preponderance, I'll say it. You know what? I didn't read Daughters of the Trade. I can't use that as a source. I can't use something else. So I can't sit up and say that black women just habitually will betray black men. But some other brothers have said, I have the evidence so I can say it. What you want me to do? Tell them they don't have the evidence? Anyway, thank you for, for listening. Um, Blackheart, sign a blackout. Asalaamu Alaikum. And in case any white supremacists are listening, black power and uh, may Allah curse you.